Hi, Rosing. I am Chriselle Lim, co-founder of Bumo, and also a lot of you guys might know me from Instagram or my blog, The Chriselle Factor. All right, so today I'm gonna to walk you guys through what I usually do every day for my work from home look. I do make an effort to put on makeup every single day just because I usually have a number of Zoom calls where I have to look presentable, uh, but also for myself, really, I think, the first few weeks of quarantine life, I didn't put on any makeup, I didn't even get dressed, and I didn't feel like my best self. It's nothing crazy, it's quite simple, so I'm gonna walk you guys through what I do every single day. I usually start off the day with some sort of cooling mask. Um, I love these guys, I try to pop these guys on as much as I can. These are from, I don't know if it's 111 skin, or 111 skin. I love this brand, they have beautiful masks and this is how the packaging looks like. This is the Rose Gold Illuminating Eye Mask. I usually pop these guys on before I do my makeup. I wake up with really puffy eyes. So cooling my eyes is very important. And then before I take these guys off, I always moisturize my lips with my Lip Butter Balm from Summer Fridays. This is a really intense butter balm it really it's thick it's not too sticky but it's very thick which i personally love because i have very chapped lips so this acts as almost like a lip mask for me before i apply on my lipstick all right i'm gonna take these guys off all right gonna start off with this guy this is the clode po voila cream it has spf 25 and what i love about this cream is that it acts like skincare a little bit of skincare and a little bit of makeup it really just evens out the complexion i feel like it kind of covers up some areas um and it also has spf so i don't really have to worry about spf throughout the day and it just adds a really nice smooth finish in order for me to apply before i apply my foundation or concealer on so as you guys can see, it looks like moisturizer, but the more you blend and with the warmth of your fingers, it blends in, not only blends in, but it also turns into your skin color. It also gives it a very nice sheen. Now from here, what I do is I usually skip the foundation. I'm at home, I'm not gonna really be seeing anyone except for my kids, but I don't think that they really care if I'm wearing foundation or not. Um, so I usually just go right into concealer. I use two concealers, call me crazy, but they both have different finishes and it's really important for me to get the right finish, especially if I'm not using foundation. This one is a Luminous Silk Concealer. So yes, Armani did come out with a luminous silk concealer. You guys probably are already familiar with their foundation, but I love this guy. It's very similar to their foundation. It's just really silky and smooth, very lightweight, and it acts like you don't have makeup on really. So I usually use this Armani Luminous Silk Concealer kind of in the areas that I would like to cover up with my beauty blender. Or sometimes I will just go in with my finger because I feel like the fingers, it does the job. Because I'm wondering, I am wearing color number 4.75. This concealer has great coverage, but it's still sheer as you guys can see. So you can still see the skin underneath. Okay, so this is pretty much my skin with a bit of the Luminous Silk Armani Concealer very natural you guys can still see my skin now going in with this guy this is the vanish concealer from hourglass this guy is heavy duty so if you are looking for some major coverage this is this is your guy what i also love about this concealer is that it's slightly matte so it has a matte finish so you don't have to powder it down and it just looks done after applying it on, which is really nice. So I usually go in with this concealer in my under eyes. And now I'm also covering my nose bridge. My nose bridge has a lot of hyperpigmentation. It has these little freckles that are coming out, which I don't mind, especially for the summertime. Um, but for me to have kind of like a flawless finish, um, I, I need a bit more coverage in that area. So I'm gonna go in with this guy now. 
and I am using Oat, the color Oat. And this shade is one shade lighter than what I would usually get, but I do that intentionally because I usually use this guy on my under eye and I want that area to be a bit lighter and brighter. To bring up the concealer onto my lid. Did you guys know that you actually have eye baths on your top lid as well? A lot of people don't know that. And, but that is why my eyes are so dark on the top because they're from my bags. All right, bags, where are you? None in sight. Puffy eyes be gone. I'm gonna go into my cheeks, eyes, and lips next. This is real easy. Um, this is from Shiseido, and this is the Minimalist Whip Powder Blush. And I think it's the texture of it. It's like very fluffy. Anyways, I like anything that I can use my fingers with because, again, it's just easy. One here, one here. But look how pigmented that is. Like, I love products that just get straight to the point. I like it when you apply it and bam, it's there. And it's such a creamy, velvety texture. All right. Now with this leftover product, we do not like to waste products here. We're gonna apply it onto the lips. So if I'm really busy and I'm pressed for time, I usually just stop my makeup here. Like all I need is some coverage and a little bit of color on my cheeks and my lips and we're good to go. If you guys are wondering, my brows, I have them microbladed. Um, but I got them microbladed almost a year and a half ago, so they're definitely fading. Do you guys see that? It's like barely there, but it still allows me to just walk out of the house without brow makeup on, which I usually don't because I still love doing my brows. Um, so we're gonna go with the brows, but also before I put this product away, we're gonna add it to the eyes. I don't like to use too much shadow during the day. I actually learned this trick from Rosie herself. She told me that I should, or what she does, she applies her cheek color onto the sockets of her eyes. So that's what I've been doing. And I actually love how it looks because it brings a look together and it's easy. Let's do the brows. This is my go-to brow guy. This is the Hourglass Arch Pencil. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about this guy because it's probably the best pencil out there. So I use Dark Brunette and I like that it's thick and it's chunky and I could do this quickly. I personally love more the thick brow look but I actually kind of have this arch. So what I like to do is this. I like to connect a line, a straight line together. I see that? I know it's kind of weird, but it's gonna work. It's gonna all come together in a minute. All right, there we go. The great brow pencil, but it is very um, pigmented as well. So you don't need too much in color. Okay, this is a really random discovery. Uh, I just started using this eyeliner, I think like three days ago, and I was blown away. I'm an eyeliner type of gal. Um, usually at home, I don't put on eyeliner because, yeah, I mean, for what, right? But because I am doing a video for you, Rose Ink, today, I'm gonna put on some liner. Um, this is from House, House? laboratories i believe this is lady gaga's eyeliner if anyone was to come out with eyeliner that was very very like just pigmented and strong it would probably be lady gaga so um yeah this works really well and again my whole thing is fast so how fast can i do my liner so i'm gonna show you right now with this guy
Liner is done. Now I'm gonna go with mascara. Again, I usually don't put on mascara for the everyday, but since you guys are here in my home, we might as well go for it. This mascara is so intense. If you love a good lash look, this one is for you. I have very short little, little bitty lashes. And this really like just makes my lashes look grown and mature and voluminous. Okay, do you guys see that? No mascara, no eyelashes. I think like five coats of mascara. This is from Marc Jacobs at Lashed. At Lashed. This is also a newer product for them and it's a very effective product. I like applying my bottom lashes with a thin brush versus the fat mascara wand because again, I have such little baby lashes and I feel like I have more control over getting into each lash with a thin brush like this, so. But what I love about this is that I'm able to also use it as my bottom lash liner. That is my little secret with this guy. I love to use this as a liner and also apply my bottom mascara on. Okay, we're gonna go onto this side. Another thing I'm gonna do with my eyes, I usually don't do this, but I feel like I'm on a roll with you guys and I haven't put this much makeup on. I know this was supposed to be like my work from home natural look that stopped like maybe five steps ago, but I'm just gonna go for it because I'm just excited that I have a full face of makeup on. Okay, so you guys saw how I lined my liner. Um, I didn't put it exactly on my waterline. I put it like right below my waterline. The reason being is because my eyes, um, if I put liner right on my waterline, it just makes my eyes look a bit more closed and smaller. And for me, I, I like doing my eye makeup where it, it kind of opens them up and widens them up. So I like going in with kind of a more metallic -y eyeliner. It could be any metallic color. This one is yellow, but it actually doesn't come off yellow. It's like a goldish, but it, it adds like a really nice kind of sheen to your waterline. So I just, I'm just applying it onto my waterline and it just brightens up my eye area. That's my little trick. Actually, it works really well for um, Asian eyes. I know I learned this trick from my Korean girlfriend. See, I told you guys they're gonna come visit. Hi! Hi! You wanna come say hi? Say hi! Hi! Hi, what's your name? Chloe. Chloe? Okay, what's your favorite makeup product? Um, lipstick. Lipstick? <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. This one wants to say hi too. Hi! What's your favorite makeup product? Pacifiers? <laughs> Yay! Okay guys, you guys have to go out. Okay. Say bye-bye. I usually don't add another lip color when I'm working from home because I added my blush color. Um, but this is also a really good product that I want to share with you guys that I've been using whenever I have to do shoots at home or whatnot. Um, and it's this guy. This is a brand new product from Armani as well. It is their Ecstasy Mirror. This color is number 101 and it's a really beautiful lip lacquer. But what I love about it is that it's not matte and it's not glossy. It's like the perfect in between. But I love the brush shape. It's flat. It's not rounded. So I'm able to use it flat and almost align the shape of my lips with it. Applies, it applies wet and slightly, slightly glossy. You guys see that? It's slightly glossy, but it dries semi-matte. This is such a good color. That is my makeup look. Thank you, Rosie, so much for having me. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope that you guys are all staying safe and I will see you guys soon.